Welcome to Venetian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with another pick a card reading and it's going to be what surprise is coming towards you. So I want you to cast your gaze over these cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Group number one. So for those of you who chose the pile with the violet amethyst, I'm feeling an energy that you're coming into a time where you're in connection with your power and you understand what you can create and manifest in the world. It's almost as though certain things had to happen or there were certain endings and shifts in perception that enabled you to step into your power. And I do think whatever it is you're manifesting is going to deliver tremendous abundance. There's this sense that you're aware of not only your creative potential, but of how much you can create moving forward. For some of you, I'm also feeling there may have been a period of stagnation or I, I feel as though it was necessary for you to reassess what you wanted to do. So the surprise coming towards you has to do with a fresh new beginning. There's something that you're trying to manifest or build. And I also see a shift in your power, in your ability to attract what you want, especially with the 10 of pentacles, a lot of prosperity and abundance. So starting off, we have the card of power. And with this particular card, I feel as though for some of you, I'm hearing that you're in touch with your own worth. There's a sense of you coming into alignment with your own value and your own sense of what you deserve. So for some of you, there was an ending of a difficult chapter that has given, a, given way to this awareness of who you are and what you want to create and what that looks like for you. For a lot of you, I feel as though you had a choice between either staying with what you were comfortable with and remaining with past energy or moving towards the future. And I think for many of you, you've chosen to reclaim your power and make the decision to step forward. And with boundaries, I also see that you're putting an end to anyone or anything that diminishes you. I feel if you've been in relationships that were quite stuck or stagnant, it's almost as though you're setting yourself free or setting very firm boundaries so that you can move forward. So it's almost as though this surprise has to do with a fresh new beginning, but it's a beginning that's been initiated by your willingness or your desire to have better for yourself, especially when it comes to career or abundance. For others of you, I do feel you're putting an end to any relationship relationships that perhaps I feel as though you realize they weren't in your highest good or they couldn't go with you I do feel for a lot of you you're ascending to a new level of creation or manifestation and it's almost as though you have to release things that cause this stagnation for some of you I feel as though there may have been a sense of confusion or you had doubts about letting someone or something go and the release of that is what enables your life to move forward because next we have movement and with this snake coiled here I feel as though this is your transformation because we also have the death card so for you, your surprise may come in the form of an inner shift or a change in awareness, but it's still a blessing because it enables you to then progress towards a new career venture, a new path, you know, definitely financial prosperity as well. You'll be in a point after this shift, it's almost as though you start to manifest consciously. You're able to bring your desires to fruition and you're not allowing anyone or anything to hold you back. Because with the revolutionary, I feel as though you're becoming very bold and you're acting on your passions. Whatever this Ten of Pentacles is for you, there's something that you're going to manifest and create or there's some sort of creative new beginning and spark that I think has inspired you to not only release negativity, whether in the form of people or past careers and circumstances, but it's also going to bring tremendous prosperity. And with Sorceress, we have you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So a lot of you are moving or have recently moved into this energy. And that's partly why there's a lot of abundance and there's a fresh, new, passionate beginning waiting for you. I do feel that this was this surprise is almost manifested by you. So for a lot of you, I think you're going to be surprised at the amount of prosperity and abundance that can flow from this new beginning. But I do feel it's something you've been wanting and something you've desired. 
And Guardian, we have you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. I think you're going to see a lot of synchronicities as you take this path. So for those of you who were in this state of indecision or doubt, I think you're going to have so much spiritual validation in regards to what you're choosing to embark on that any doubt or any opposition is quick is quickly released. There's very much this sense that spirit is working to help you take these steps or to usher in a lot of abundance and prosperity as a sign that you've taken the right actions, that you're doing the right thing. And with this two of wands, for me, this is all your potential, but I almost feel that you were on a particular path that didn't enable these dreams or these ideas to flourish. So part of the surprise will also be that you begin to see the beginning stages of manifestation in regards to whatever you're passionate about, whatever it is you desire. It's almost as though your your lack of willingness, I think for some of you, you may not have really been willing to take physical action or take steps towards what you desire. And it's almost as though now... You know exactly what you want, but you're also acting on it. You're willing to step into the unknown, I'm hearing. But I do think this has come about and started because you had a period of solitude or time to reflect. There was some sort of period I'm hearing where you weren't moving. And it's almost as though this blessing is enabling you and this surprise is enabling you to move forward with physical action. So for those of you who are trying to manifest a creative idea or a business, I feel as though spirit will be bringing you opportunities relative to that. And you will begin to realize just how powerful you are as a manifester. But part of what's enabled these changes is the, your willingness to set boundaries because we have the Queen of Swords and boundaries. So I do feel your willingness to cut away negativity, negative thoughts, people who hindered you is precisely why you're going to be blessed with so much abundance and so many gifts and prosperity. But I do think you were divinely guided in this direction. You received some sort of awareness as you were in this hangman position that is enabling all these gifts to come towards you now. It's almost as though you're, you experienced divine intervention or divine wisdom and that's what gave you the kind of momentum to start moving, to start acting on what you want, to maintain hope in regards to what you can manifest and have in this life. With the revolutionary, I'm also hearing that perhaps these these opportunities or how things manifest are drastically different to how you envisioned. So although you might be seeing the results of your manifestation, I'm hearing it's not in the manner you thought. But you calling judgment on old ways of being or just the person you once were, I feel this sense that you've gone through some sort of healing transformation and you've removed negative people and energies and that's what is fully enabling this fresh energy to come into being. Because with the magician, I think you're reaching a point where you're at your full power. You're at a point where you know exactly what you want and you have the exact tools you need to be able to manifest these dreams and these visions. I think in the past, perhaps I'm hearing you didn't have the awareness necessary to move forward or to take these steps. Whereas now I think you're fully ready. But with death, there has been some sort of transformation formation or transformative process because you can see with these butterflies and yet again we have snakes which for me it's a, a matter of shedding old skin there's some sort of release of who you once were which enables this new vision creative idea prosperity to flow into being and also your power as a soul is magnified because of this healing process there's something that you've allowed to come to an end. I think for a lot of you, it's multiple things. You may have been going through a period where you've had a lot of endings and conclusions. And it's almost as though that's enabling you to skip freely into this new chapter. So part of the surprise is how radically your life is going to change. I think whatever this is that you're taking action towards or initiating, it's going to take a path not only that you didn't expect, but with the Ten of Pentacles, that's extreme wealth, extreme abundance, extreme positivity across the board. And with the Ten of Wands, yet again, there's something you closed out. There was some sort of chapter that ended. You released certain burdens. 
I'm hearing as well, for some of you, you released the obligation or the issues of others. Because with the Queen of Swords and boundaries, I feel as though you may have been someone that constantly took on other people's emotions or problems. And it's almost as though you're walking away and deciding to follow your own passions and your own path. You're no longer concerned or consumed with satisfying the needs of others or doing what you think is conventional. Because with the revolutionary, I was almost hearing like a rebel. So perhaps you're choosing to embark on a path that isn't uniform or isn't widely accepted. But your willingness to take this path and choose something different is what will enable you to step into this energy of the emperor. The emperor is powerful. He knows what he, he or she knows what they want. They go after it. Nothing holds the emperor back. And I feel as though... And it can also represent Aries, but there's just this really fiery, passionate energy. And I feel as though you're not only now being seen in this light, but you're able to attract. It's almost like you becoming the emperor enables new opportunities to open up for you. You attract business opportunities, people, things of a higher caliber is what I'm hearing and part of that is because you now see your value you have full faith and you're going towards your vision and your passion regardless of what anyone else thinks and I feel I'm also hearing you're unstoppable so part of the surprise I feel is how much power you've developed within yourself and how that's going to manifest moving forward what your path is going to look like and just how much beauty and abundance can manifest through you now so that's all I have for you, group one. If you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi, group number two. So for those of you who chose the pile with the white moonstone, I'm feeling as though your surprise has to do with finding a connection or someone to share life with. Now, for some of you, you may already be in a really stable relationship. So it's just a matter of it ascending to another level or the love deepening I'm hearing. So if you're in the beginning stages of getting to know someone, I can see the development of a connection that has a lot more substance or is very enduring. For others of you, I was also getting, when I saw the card, the creator and mother earth, I was feeling as though some of you may become parents or at least that will be the next surprise for you. For others of you, I feel as though this tower moment is you meeting someone that is a life partner that you will have a family with. It will vary depending on your current kind of relationship status. But I feel for a lot of you, there's almost this energy that you've built up a lot within yourself. And with this card, we have unconditional love. Love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So I'm feeling as though you've all reached a certain level of love within yourself. And this self-love not only has enabled you to find happiness and abundance within your career and within your own being, but it's also attracting great love if you haven't found this already. For others of you, it's attracting a higher level of commitment than what you've experienced. But I feel as though you're moving into a time where there's just an abundance of love and blessings. Anything around um, relationship, children, family is going to be really beautiful during this time. So if you have had to really build yourself and build up your own life, your own finances, I feel as though you're joining forces with like a perfect counterpart. Someone that's a great match, that's very balanced and finding a union that's incredibly stable. But it's partly because you've developed that within yourself. So starting off, we have the sage. I think there've been certain experiences where you've been called to look within. For a lot of you, you've definitely gone through this spiritual awakening or this growth process. Almost with this cross as well. I feel like for a lot of you, you've had to overcome like a lot of, I'm hearing the word betrayal or just this feeling of being almost targeted as though people didn't treat you the way you deserved or a lack of understanding. But it also led you to almost have a spiritual awakening or deepen your connection with your own heart and soul. Because with higher perspective, I feel as though you've gained a certain level of awareness and consciousness that now you're ready to share a life or your world with someone else. There's just this sense that you almost had to take a spiritual journey first to prepare you for this union or this connection and what's coming in. And with ancestors, I feel as though you were divinely guided during this time. And there was certain, and I'm hearing, I'm looking at this female form and not only do you see the roots, 
and how grounded this woman is, but she's so comfortable in her own body, her own form. So for a lot of you, you've had to do a lot of work around self-love and accepting yourself. For some of you, it could have to do with body image or just learning to love your appearance and make peace and make friends with your body and your physical being. But I'm just getting the sense that you've really grounded yourself because we have this card, we have the Empress and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, you may be a Taurus or an Earth sign, Virgo Capricorn, but there's a sense that you've, and also here with higher perspective, we have the roots. So there's something about you having to become very grounded and build your own world and really heal before you could attract or bring in this relationship. And with the creator, there's something that's going to be created, but I do feel it's no longer solo. If you have gone on this journey alone, I do feel there's someone coming in to help or connect with you. There's definitely this energy around partnership. For others of you, I feel as though it may involve having children. If you're currently in a relationship, I do see it moving to a higher level or the creation of a child. For some of you as well, I just feel like this this wand is almost like a spark of love. So for some of you, I feel if you are single, when you meet this person, especially with the tower here, I feel as though it's going to hit you out of the blue. It may be very unexpected or it's almost like it will be a shock to the system, partly because it's almost like that energy of love at first sight or just very intense connection, you know, straight away. And here we have Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. For me, I was just drawn to Mother. For others of you, you need to be out and around in nature in order to ground yourself and to just kind of especially ground yourself during what's coming because I do feel for those of you that are single, this is a really powerful connection moving in. With the sun, you've already achieved a level of happiness and joy within your own self. Like, I feel like you're quite lively, optimistic, happy, bubbly, and that's partly why this good fortune is coming towards you. I think you have to go through some sort of journey or spiritual ascension or some raise in consciousness that was then able to assist you in attracting this partnership. It's almost like now the time is right because we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel you've established yourself in the world or there's something you've started on your own and I do think it has financial underpinnings for some of you because of this spiritual awakening you changed your life drastically and it's almost created a change in regards to you could have changed career changed location there's some sort of shift that you've already established I think on your own and with the empress as well this is you at the highest level of your own self it's you, abundant, loving, joyful, spiritually aware and awakened, someone that has so much to offer. But this has come about through quite an arduous journey is what I'm hearing. This wasn't something that happened easily or without problems. I do feel as though you've reached, it's almost like you reached the highest level you could on your own and it's almost time for someone to join you. Because with temperance, I feel as though you're perfectly balanced. And I'm also hearing you're a very powerful healer now because you had to learn how to heal yourself. There is this sense of a beautiful balance now between every, your masculine and feminine energies. There's a balance between light and darkness. You have an understanding of how the darkness and lessons can serve your well-being and your blessings. There's just this sense of a beautiful energy around you. But with the tower, this surprise is going to shock you because for some of you, I feel as though you're kind of here as this queen of pentacles, focusing on growing yourself, setting roots, laying a foundation, building perhaps your career or your finances, and it may come completely out of the blue. But I do think the queen of pentacles is already with the empress, the ace of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the sun. Like most of you, I feel like are in a very good financial position or you will be, but you're just abundant across the board. You're the type of male or female who doesn't really need anyone else. And because you've arrived at this place within yourself, it's almost as though now the universe is choosing to bring someone in because then we have the perfect match, the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, you may be attracting an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but at the very least, this is someone that's stable, successful financially a man of integrity or man or woman of integrity they're able to follow through and they match you perfectly they're perfect counterparts 
And with the Ace of Cups, this is a really beautiful, loving bond. It's pure. I do feel whoever this is coming in will know pretty quickly that this is a beautiful divine match. I think both of you will. I also feel this is someone who's open with their emotions. They're emotionally expressive. They don't feel the need to play games or beat around the bush. It's almost as though when you meet, if you haven't already, both of you know that you want commitment or a family relatively quickly within meeting. Because following the Ace of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups which is a beautiful, loving union, soulmates coming together, happy family, happy life, happy future. So I do think this person knows pretty quickly that you represent the Ten of Cups and that there's a lot of potential together. But I feel almost this sense that you'd already reached the Nine of Pentacles or we do have the Empress here. So you'd already reached Empress status on your own. And that's why you're ready for someone to come in and almost complete the picture in regards to family and sharing your heart and soul with another. I do think spirit is aiding you. It's almost like you're being blessed because of the hard work you put into your own being. And it's almost as though you don't need this now. You know that even if you don't meet this divine counterpart, you will be happy on your own. But it's almost as though life is better with this person. And both of you, both of you enhance each other's life because of the unconditional love that flows between you. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I think both of you will know relatively quickly that you want to invest. So it may almost come as a surprise to you how quickly this moves. Uh, for others of you, you might, if you're already in a relationship, it could be that it, your partner has a talk with you about wanting to move things to the next level, start a family. And it may almost shock you and come out of the blue because you weren't expecting it. Perhaps you thought this was someone that would take longer to commit or they weren't ready. But I feel as though... This person is going to be very straightforward in regards to what they want with you and how they feel about you. And for some of you, I do feel as though this journey, you may have been solo for quite some time. There's a sense that your interest and your focus was very much on the self and becoming the best version of yourself, building your world, your career, your finances. But it's almost time now for someone to come and join that picture to complete it, to give you that 10 of cups, because I do feel there's a lot of joy and happiness coming towards you. But it, I'm also hearing part of why this could flow is because of the unconditional love you develop for yourself, your appearance, every aspect of your life. You're someone that loves yourself unconditionally now. And it's almost as though that energy can now flow back to you because you've done the inner work and you've healed to such a level that you are the empress. And I feel as though this person knows immediately your worth and who you are. So that's all I have for you, group two. That was a beautiful reading. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Group number three. So for those of you who chose the par with the Amatrine, immediately as I was laying the tarot cards, I felt there's some sort of spiritual awakening. The surprise is around a change in spirituality or a shift in perception and closing something out. And right as I thought that, I saw the Ascension card. So I definitely feel as though for a lot of you, you're moving up to a new level of spiritual awareness and ascension. There's some sort of change or a closing of cycles, partly because of some sort of truth or spiritual awakening that's occurred within you. This is, this is a little similar to group one as well, but slightly different because I do feel there is a focus on spirituality. And for some of you, I do think you have the power to heal or at the end of this awakening process, it may stir within you the desire to help others heal, but that won't be relevant to everyone. At the very least, I do think you're going through a really huge spiritual awakening and a shift it's almost as though for some of you, I feel as though you've begun questioning or thinking about what's the purpose of my life? Who do I want to be? What do I want to contribute? And it's almost creating and shifting this energy so that you can evolve spiritually. But as you evolve, I'm also hearing because of this awareness or this awakening around what you want to do, it's calling you to close the chapter on something, to close out a cycle. And I'm also hearing to leave behind lower vibrational energies. For some of you, you may really feel the need to change your diet or just change your lifestyle because I do feel as though there's certain people or habits I'm hearing that can't go into this new frequency with you. And with paradox, I feel like you're beginning to understand the paradox of life. 
It's almost as though like your third eye is awakening and you're beginning to see reality. I'm hearing in a more truthful or whole perspective. There's this sense that perhaps before you were more focused on the 3D or the mundane and it's almost as though this filter has been lifted so that you can see clearly and you can see the complexity of not only yourself and the various aspects of self, but how you want to engage in the world. What does that look like? What do you need to leave behind? Because with the death card here, there is a sense of transformation and change that you are becoming an entirely new person. And I'm hearing it may even surprise you in say three months time. I think you're going to be drastically different to who you were before. There's just this thought and idea that everything has shifted so drastically, you may almost feel like you don't recognize yourself. And because of those changes, it may leave you to want to walk away or release yourself from certain relationships or jobs or habits. And with Reflect, there's been some sort of inner, inner work, inner perception or spiritual truth that's triggered this shift and change. And I'm, all, I'm almost feeling as though, I was feeling like this swan... First of all, for me, swans can represent, you know, becoming the swan. It's a transformation to more love, more beauty, more light for me. But I also felt at first like the swan was trapped. I know that's not necessarily what the image depicts, but I just had that sense. So it's almost like you're, you're shaking free of any ties. And I'm also hearing you're shaking free of how others saw you. For example, if you once were seen as like the black swan or whatever, it's like you're becoming... You're becoming light. You're becoming white. There's a sense of a return to your spiritual essence or you're returning to more purity and love for yourself at the very least. So we have focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions. Focus on your target and you will make your mark. Now with this, I don't necessarily perceive it this way. I feel as though your intentions and what you want to manifest have changed, but they're, they're happening more subtly. I don't think you've decided to change them. I just think as you've gone through this growth and these changes, naturally what you desire to manifest has shifted. Because with the hermit, either you're going through this now or you have gone through a period of spiritual awakening and solitude. This is really the time where we reflect, we transform and we begin that ascension process or you move further along that journey if you're already on a spiritual path. But there is a sense that something's awakened within you at another level. Perhaps you never really considered spirituality for some of you. I'm sensing that. And now it's like almost like a burning desire Perhaps you're wanting to manifest and create something around your budding awareness or your knowledge of metaphysics because of this shift that's happened internally. Because with this card, as I was sensing before, we have medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. First of all, I think this spiritual awakening was divinely orchestrated. I think it was time for you to change paths. And for a lot of you, I feel like you're a light worker. You have some sort of spiritual mission or healing ability that you're going to share in the world. And that's partly why this process had to be triggered or initiated. But for some of you, I'm also feeling as though you may be trying to manifest changes in your career or lifestyle that are more it's becoming more holistic. You're becoming more spiritually inclined. And I think you're shedding layers of your old self, which then leads you to release certain activities or behaviors and people. Because with this star, for me, it's a, a card of hope, but it's also a card for me of divine guidance. You're following a star. You found your light. You found something that is illuminating what you want and what direction you want to move in. For a lot of you, I do feel a shift in career or you're moving towards something that feels right at a soul level. Whatever lifestyle or relationships you were in, I don't think they satisfied you spiritually. I don't think they were really in sync with your inner knowing or your inner desires. And it's almost like now you're receiving or you're going in the direction of this star. Because with the Page of Cups, for me, I am reading this as self-love or not even self-love, but a love and understanding of your own spirit. And you can see this woman almost going on a solo voyage. So for some of you, you may be leaving relationships behind or you may be, I'm hearing, leaving a hometown or a setting that is very familiar because as you've gone through this transformation and change, you're no longer that person. And it's almost as though everyone still sees you as the black swan, but really you're white. You've changed form and they can't quite recognize it. 
for some of you. For others of you, I think it's walking away from a particular career or lifestyle. Because for me, Eight of Cups is leaving. It's leaving something behind. It's not being satisfied with where you've been, with the status quo. So for a lot of you, this spiritual awakening is going to shift drastically your physical reality, but it's for your own growth and your own betterment. There are changes occurring, but they're very positive. They're ones that are going to serve you. And I think you're moving in a direction that is truly your path. And I do think it was divinely inspired because with justice, I'm hearing it's time for you to start living fully and living true to who you are. It's a sense with this sword that you're cutting away anything that isn't authentic and that can't bring you happiness. And with the Ten of Swords, you're also closing out a chapter. This cycle has ended. For some of you, it's a, it was a karmic cycle or there were people and experiences in your life that were here to bring you to this place of ascension. But now that you're here and you're taking this voyage and this, you're taking on, I'm hearing, this spiritual mission, these difficulties and these painful circumstances are no longer needed to awaken you. You're already awake. Yes, there's more to go and there'll always be uh, further you can reach in terms of spiritual progress. But some of these harsher lessons, I think, are closing out. Because with the Five of Pentacles, you're leaving behind lack. You're leaving behind anything that doesn't... I'm hearing you're leaving behind anything that rejects you because it wasn't meant for you. So it's a really clear indication that your life and your identity is almost being stripped bare. And it may come as a shock because I do think you're going to be so different. Like I just keep hearing three months from now, you're not going to recognize yourself in terms of who you are, your preference, how you want to live, your lifestyle. Everything is changing for you. But I do see this new beginning opening up for you because with the Queen of Wands, she's someone that follows her passions, trusts her instincts, doesn't allow anyone or anything to hold her back. And I think this is who you've become. You, you've shed your old skin or your old form. And it's almost like now you've set yourself free to follow what you want. You're no longer bound or bonded to, I'm hearing painful circumstance. With the Seven of Swords, some of you may have had very difficult interpersonal relationships, or they've just been difficult lessons within yourself to reach this level of ascension and spiritual growth. Perhaps there was some sort of difficulty that's happened, some breakup, some sort of loss that has triggered this spiritual awakening. But it is very much divinely inspired and guided to get you to look within, to get you to reach for heights. And I'm also hearing to get you to take up your life purpose. So you would fully act and share your beautiful gifts and your spiritual mission in the world because that's exactly what was destined for you. But with the Five of Swords, I think a lot of doors have closed in your face. But yet again, it's that message of being rejected by what wasn't meant for you. So if you are kind of forced to start a new chapter, a new life, end certain relationships, I feel like you're not really leaving anything behind because it wasn't anything significant to your spirit and your soul. It wasn't something that had that spiritual kind of, it couldn't nurture you emotionally and spiritually. It's almost as though it constantly ended in disappointment because spirit, instead of pining after this opportunity spirit wanted to take you in a different direction and it's almost as though certain things had to close in your face or leave your life so that you would actually look within and understand exactly what you're here to do and find happiness and blessings greater than what you could have ever had if these swords worked out for you so there is a sense that you've been you're being guided onto a higher path or a higher vision for your future and i do think it's around life purpose career spiritual mission there's a sense that you're coming into alignment energetically with your vocation, what you're here to do and what you're able to manifest in physical reality. And although there may be some losses and disappointments and there will be tremendous transformation that may even scare or shock you, it's all working out in your favor. So that's all I have for you, group three. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Group number four. So for those of you drawn to the par with the angel light, Immediately, I feel as though there's been something that you've been busy trying to manifest in the world. I feel as though it has to do with some sort of creative project or there's some sort of dream and desire that you've wanted to receive. 
We do have the Nine of Pentacles and then the Two of Cups. So for some of you, it could relate to love. But there's just this sense that the surprise coming to you is by relaxing and surrendering, I'm hearing, you're going to have everything with the Three of Wands you desire come rushing in. It's almost as though you've been like pushing, pushing, working, trying to make something happen or make someone appear. And it's almost as though when you release your guard and you surrender to spirit, you're going to receive it. And that's what the surprise is. That however you were approaching it, when you have a gentle, I'm hearing when you release your grip, when you have a gentle approach, it naturally is drawn to you. Because with inner wisdom, we have, you know what to do, trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. I think there's something that you want to manifest that is the right thing for you, but it's how you've been going about it. You've been holding too tight and it's almost like energetically like a chokehold. It hasn't been enabling whatever this is to come into your world. So it's almost like you've received some sort of intuition or wisdom to release your grip, to surrender, to let go. And as you do that, that's precisely what draws it in because we have easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So there's a sense that you reach some sort of surrender or I'm hearing for some of you, you're just exhausted. You've been working towards something or you've wanted something so bad that it's almost like you give up. And right as you give up, it floods in. Because with this nature card, I heard the words divine timing when I saw it. So I'm, we've got get creative, the alchemist, which is manifestation and nature and then the universe. So it's almost like the universe comes full circle and brings you what you desire when you surrender to divine timing. Now with get creative, for some of you, it might be some sort of spiritual vocation because I almost see this um, bird as like, uh, like magic, like some sort of magic. But for others of you, I just think it's creativity in general. You have some sort of creative idea, business project. For others of you, I do think you might be trying to manifest love as well. It could be multiple things you've been working hard to manifest and improve your life, I'm feeling. There's something that you've really put a lot of effort into and it has been the right thing for you and it will pay off, just not in the timing or in the way you expect. Because with the alchemist, you are powerful within yourself and I'm hearing you're very gifted at whatever you do. Whatever you're creating, building, working towards, it is the right thing for you. It's more that you're so determined to create it, it's almost blocking the manifestation slightly. There definitely needs to be a, a gentle touch. Because with this card, for me, that is representing divine timing in this particular spread, it's almost as though you learn how should I say it through the surrender and the release and learning to rest and recharge and almost, I don't want to say give up in the negative sense, because I do think you still want whatever this is, but you almost get so exhausted and frustrated. Your defenses drop and you release it. And just as you release it, the universe steps in and pulls strings for you and brings things full circle is what I'm hearing. Everything you've wanted is going to start flooding in. And I do think it's coming from a time of just sheer exhaustion and surrender. It's almost like you can't keep fighting or pushing anymore. So you just release it. And spirit's like, finally, with this three of wands, we can bring in everything you've been hoping for. So for some of you, I do feel you have certain creative or career goals and you want love and a relationship. So you might be trying to extend a lot of effort because you're trying to manifest so many things. For some of you, I feel like it almost needs to happen one at a time. Perhaps your creative vision or your career will start rolling and then at a later stage when divine timing is right it can bring in love or a relationship because with the four of pentacles that lets me know you've been holding on too tight there's some sort of vision of how things will manifest that needs to be released because for the universe to work its best it has to have the freedom of how things come to be it can't be locked into one way of being or one form of manifestation. I do think the theme of what you're trying to manifest and create is correct, but I don't believe it will be a surprise how it comes to be. Or I'm also hearing it'll be a surprise that when you completely relax and release it and stop extending effort, that's when things start to flow. Because with the wheel of fortune, to have the wheel of fortune and the universe lets you know that the divine is acting on your favor. It's turning that wheel to bring in exactly what you've hoped for and exactly what you've worked towards. Because I do feel that you deserve whatever this is because you have 
it's truly what you love and what you care about or it's going to be someone that you love and care about but it's also you've also put in significant effort because i don't believe we can manifest without action you know yes set the intention hold the vibration but you also need to act you need to put in a certain amount of work and dedication to create something beautiful and i feel as though you've done that and that's why the wheel is turning for some of you, the wheel is turning on this single status. For some of you, you've put a lot of work into a particular career. The Nine of Pentacles is very self-sufficient, abundant, established. So for some of you, you've already become this and you've lifted this. And it's almost as though with this Four of Swords, when you surrender and relax, that's when this Two of Cups can come in. That's when you find the one, the person that you love, a soulmate energy. And it's precisely because you've released the need to force it you've allowed some i'm hearing you've allowed space for the universe to act on your behalf so for some of you there may have been this desire for love and it almost was so intense or the way you were thinking about love i'm hearing was blocking it flowing forward so it could be you had certain ideas of what this person had to look like or how they would come into your life and it almost was preventing spirit to from orchestrating it naturally for the highest good of all so there is this energy or this sense that whoever or whatever you were hoping would come to be it needed to happen very differently and as you release your mind and i do feel for some of you it was just sheer fatigue you got so tired of trying to wait or force it that you just dropped the ball you just released it and let it go and that's precisely how it comes to be because with the four of cups I feel as though you've been unsatisfied with things not moving forward. You felt like you wanted something and it wasn't coming about. There's a sense of frustration, disappointment, doubt. For some of you, the fears and doubts may have been interfering as well. As time went on, there's very much this message that it's happening in divine timing, but I feel like your idea of timing wasn't the same thing. So it's almost as though as you just surrender, relax, enjoy your own presence enjoy time alone even and enjoy your solitude that's when someone or something can manifest or come to be you're definitely shedding any negativity around how things can manifest relationships perhaps career potential there's some sort of shedding and shift and it's almost like by relaxing you stop focusing on these negativity this negativity or this fear and doubt and that's why it can come to be because with the five of cups that's also a card Having the Four of Cups and then the Five of Cups, they're cards of focusing on the negative, not seeing the blessing, not with the Five of Cups, not seeing the two cups that are still standing and focusing on the ones that have been knocked over or uh, out of reach is what I'm hearing. So for some of you, you had an idea of who you wanted and it almost fell through, but it wasn't your soulmate or divine partner. And Spirit is asking you to suspend some of this negativity because there is someone or something that's coming in that's better. These two cups are the cups that are divinely yours, is what I'm hearing. This is your path. This is your person. This is your blessing. But as long, so long as you stay looking negatively at these cups, spirit can't energetically bring in this new energy. And that's precisely why when you rest and you release your grip, that's when it can come to be. Because with the six of wands, there's also this sense that you will have success and victory. And whatever it is that you're trying to bring in and manifest, it is correct for you. You have the right idea and vision. You just perhaps have the wrong idea about how it will come to be or what a successful outcome is. It's almost this sense that your vision of success and the actual path to success are completely different. But at the end of the day, you are going to achieve the aim or the outcome you've hoped for. It is still... It is still going to be, it is going to be a surprise in how it comes to be or who it is with, but it isn't, you're not surprised in regards to this is the basis or the core of what you've been hoping to manifest. It just doesn't quite appear or come in the manner or the timing of what you hope for. And for a lot of you, I do feel if it's a creative pursuit you're trying to manifest, I see that coming in. But for some of you, I feel it's multiple. It's blessings and creativity and it's love coming to the forefront. And with the Page of Wands, that's a passionate, creative new beginning. So for you, those of you who are invested or working on some sort of creative pursuit, it is coming to be and you will be seeing the results. But you've got to release how you see the results and when because it's all controlled by this wheel turning 
and the universe but i do think it is beginning to shift in your favor as you surrender for others of you this is a passionate new beginning in love for some of you it could even be both but there is a sense that this is on the cards for you and you will receive this but stop trying to force the outcome or just allow it to come to you in the manner it will because it is in your highest interest and the divine does have your back when it comes to whatever this new beginning is and i'm also hearing the divine knows how to manifest it beautifully beyond what perhaps you could have considered because with spirit it can see all the players it can see all the possible scenarios so sometimes suspending the mind and just trusting in your soul and taking care of yourself enables this beginning to start in a way that will do justice to what you're hoping for but it may look or appear slightly different and within different timing so that's all i have for you group four if you enjoyed this reading please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon